live from Utah's first TV station, ABC4 News celebrates 75 years. Thanks for joining us here on ABC4 News at 4. I'm Courtney Johns. Emily Flores has the night off. Now we begin this afternoon with new developments in the mother accused of poisoning her husband and then writing a book about grief. The state of Utah is trying to stop Corey Richens from contacting her mother as well as her brother. And ABC4's Annika Johns joins us live in studio to explain why. Documents say that this motion came after deputies in the Summit County Sheriff's Office searched Richard's cell, saying they found a six-page letter addressed to her mother titled, Walk the Dog, hidden inside a book. Documents say in the letter, Richens asked her mother to tell her brother how to testify to defense attorneys, saying that Sky Lazaro, Richens attorney, wants to link her husband Eric getting drugs and pills from Mexico, causing his death. After this was filed, Lazaro motioned her own document saying that by submitting this letter, state prosecutors violated the gag order issued by the court. Now I met with Utah defense attorney Clayton Sims, who says Richens attorneys are saying by publishing this letter, this is a violation of attorney client privilege. So this walk the dog letter was revealed in a very public way on the court docket, public access, revealing uh, in her own handwriting, um, referencing her attorney. So Corey Richards' attorney is saying that's inappropriate. It violates the rules surrounding uh, disclosure and they're asking for contempt sanctions. They're asking that the prosecutors go to, the, go to jail. Coming up at five, I'll have more of an in-depth look at what this letter says and what this could mean for the future of the case. Courtney, back to you. All right, thank you, Annika.